I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Alejo Miranda all the way in Guatemala. Thank you so much for helping us out with this recipe. I'm going to link his Instagram tag at the bottom. Check him out. And here we go. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Crave. My name is Mateo. And I'm Bernie. And today we have a very special dish, Mateo. We have the Guatemalan national dish called Pepian. This is a very special dish. And if you kids want to try it at home, you try it at home. And you need help from an adult. Yeah, how about you tell us the ingredients we're going to use? So, can you help me with them? Sure. Okay, so we got some beef short ribs, mm -hmm. pepper, um, salt, tomatoes, and tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes? Tomatillos? Yes, tomatillos. Good. And we got some onions, we got some garlic. Why don't you tell them that? Yes, so we have two chilies, Mateo. This is called a uh, ancho chili, um, and this one is called a uh, basi, uh, guajillo, guajillo chili, and uh, they call this chile pasa and chile, I think, guaque or something like that. Um, and then we have uh, sesame seeds and ground pumpkin seeds. And do you know what this is? Yeah, this is called a, uh, a, a chiote. A chiote? That's kind of a weird name. And then we have, what is this? Uh, I don't know. Cilantro? Yeah, cilantro, and we got some... Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. All right. You ready? Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. And we're also, Mattel, while you're doing that, we're going to salt and pepper the short ribs. And we're going to sear them so they get a nice color, nice and brown. When the oil starts to smoke, put in the short ribs. Ooh, I like that sound. Look at that. Okay, Mateo, now that we seared it, look at the color that we got on it. I'm putting it on the sides, but this is the color we want. You see that? Nice and brown. This one has fat on top, so that's okay. But these are nice and brown here. Okay? And we'll take that fat off later, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to add water to it. And we're going to add... Okay, we're going to add some water. So we're going to add about 8 cups of water. Yeah. So now we're going to put a medium onion, 3 ounces of tomatoes. Half a pound. A half a pound and some garlic cloves. Garlic cloves? Garlic cloves. So we're adding 3 garlic cloves and then go ahead and add the onion. No! <laughs> So in the beginning, I accidentally call this a chiote, but it's chayote. Uh, now that the rib has been cooking for about an hour in the liquid, we're going to add it so that it can cook at the same time with the rib. 
And if you know what we call it in Guatemala, let me know in the comment section. Okay, Mateo, so I just want to tell you about these chilies. These, these chilies are not spicy. Oh, what does that smell like to you? It smells like a bit of chocolate and some candy. Yeah, that's true. It has this chocolatey notes. What about this one? Oh, same thing. Kind of the same thing. A little bit of tastiness. Tastiness, I love that. So, these chilies are not going to bring spice. Um, it's not going to be so hot that you can't eat it. This not that type of chili. It's really just like what you said, it's going to bring different notes to the sauce that we're going to make. So we're going to toast these first uh, because these can burn if, you know, if we do it at the same speed of those. So we're going to do these first and then set them aside and then let those take their time. What does it smell like? What does it smell like? It smells like... Wait, let me oh. get... Alright, so that should be good. Not too long. And then, for the rest of the ingredients, we're not going to use any oil. We're just going to put them right on there. And we're going to we're going to let them get nice and dark, okay? So only grown-ups can use like knives to like chop up stuff. Not little kids. And then we'll put the rest of the garlic in there, okay? They might start popping. Just go ahead and pour them in the middle there. No, 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 closer. There you go. Very nice. Beautiful. I'm going to get them a little separated here so they can get nice and crispy. Mateo, something I forgot to mention um, in the beginning is that we also have pumpkin seed that uh, you don't have to toast it, but you can. And we ground up the pumpkin seed here, okay? So a big part of this, buddy, is that we're going to use pumpkin seeds and also we're going to uh, make the sesame seeds nice and powdery as well, just like the pumpkin seeds, okay? So we're going to blend those. Turn it on. The last of the tomatillos. So go ahead and put them in our blender. Good. So let's get this out of the way and then we're going to start blending. We still have to add uh, the stuff from in there, from our rib. So we're going to get that done. So here we go with the ingredients from our rib. Got the tomatoes. And do you remember what else we added in there? Um, we added some... Uh, and onion. And onion and some of that green thing. Now some of that green thing is the... Uh, Chayote. It looks kind of like a parrot and a green ring. It looks like what? Oh yeah. It looks like so, two things. I'm going to scoop them out so that we don't blend it together. Okay, Mateo, so now we're going to blend all of our ingredients together here. So why don't you go ahead and add those two guys one at a time. Now I'm just going to ladle in uh, some of the broth. Go ahead and pour it in there. Very nice. Here comes the broth, it's hot, and you want to make sure you do not do this while it's hot, okay? Otherwise your blender's going to explode. Go ahead and add the other one. I'm going to add two ladles. Go ahead. It's okay. I really cannot drop this one. There you go. Good, perfect. Alright. Oh, it smells so good. It does. <laughs> Does it? No. Good. Okay, we're going to blend. Now I'm going to turn on the blender. And now, go too high. I can barely hear it.
here we have it a uh, fairly thick Mattel. So Wait. it depends on how you guys like it. So if you uh, wanted a little bit more runnier, a little bit more um, liquidy, we can add more more of the broth from the liquid of the rib. Mm -hmm. And if you like it thick, then that's fine too. And also we use chayote, but you guys can use um, uh, long green beans uh, for your vegetable and they'll still be tasty. So let's, do you like it like that? Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, let's add it back to the pot. But in the meantime, we're gonna make a rice with our leftover broth. Okay, Mateo, so now that this is smoking, we're gonna make a quick rice. This is two cups of medium grain, uh, medium grain rice. We're gonna let it uh, cook in the oil for a little bit. Okay, Mateo, you see how the rice is taking a little bit of a different color now? Yeah, because at first it was like really, really white. Yeah. Now it's like whitish. Yellow. Yeah, it's kind of like a creamy color, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we have two cups of rice, three cups of we're gonna use the, the broth that we used. Mm. <laughs> Reduce the heat a little bit. Oh wait, someone's like popping out. And what we'll do is we're gonna add some That'd be careful. I think you should use like some gloves, protected gloves. Like you use in the oven? It's okay. We're just gonna use some bell peppers. A little more? Mm -hmm. Let's mix it up a little bit more. Just and so it's soft. Now that it's boiling, okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna reduce the heat to low and we're gonna cover it, okay? So go ahead and give it a taste. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, we're going to cook that on low for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. We're going to add our sauce back into the pot, okay? Oh. So while I'm doing this, do you want to add the uh, ribs in there? Oh, sure. Totally. I'm going to use the little tweezer things. And you see how it's still a little thick? I'm going to open this. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna do it one by one. Should I add the bones in there? Or, yeah. huh? Add everything in there, yeah, go ahead. Right. Oops, oh man, I just dropped some goodness. Oh, dang it. Oopsies. Lower the heat, we don't want it to boil. Yeah, we don't want it to like burn my... And then we're gonna add the chayote back in there. Let me add this last bone and then boom. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to mix it up, right? We've got still some broth left over. Can you add a little bit in there, please? Okay. Just Slowly, little, okay? Right? Oh. Um, it's kind of hot, but it's not really, really hot. Is it? Oh, it's kind of hot. Is it too hot? Yeah, it's so hot for me. So we're going to add a few sprigs of cilantro, right? We're just going to throw them in there. Is it too hot for you? Yeah, it's still half for me yet. We're gonna add a little bit here. Oh, this is gonna be the best dinner. And we're gonna let it cook for a little bit. We're gonna let it cook for about... Like 12 or 20 minutes or something. No, about five, five minutes. Five minutes. On low heat. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna cover it, okay? Five minutes on low heat, and we're gonna cover it. Mm -hmm. So, now that that's been cooking for five minutes, we're gonna test it for salt, okay? So I tried it, it needs a little bit more salt. Yep. It needs actually a lot of bit more salt. So we're gonna add some salt to it. And then we're gonna taste it, okay? Is it good, Dad? It's perfect. Perfect. Pretty like good. It? Good. Now we wait for the rice and serve. So we're going to serve our rice, and I like to put the rice under, that way it catches all the flavors of the pepian at the bottom. You want some rice, Mata? Um, just a little bit. How's that? Um, a little more? Good. No. Okay. Yes. Now we'll serve the pepian. Mmm, I'm so excited. Give it a good little mix.
Okay. And Mattel, you ready? Yeah, I'm so ready! Alright, we're going to get you a rib. That's a big rib. I don't think you're going to eat all this. I'm not going to eat all that. We're going to get you some sauce on there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get you some chayote. Chayote? Okay. Thanks, guys. This video is specially dedicated to uh, La Sierva del Señor, Mayra Calan, who is up in heaven now, and she expressed to us always the love of God in her actions and her attitudes. And if you crave it,